You know, I'm thinking watching this tonight. So your third leading scorer has been out for a while now. Nick does not have a huge impact in this game. But what is when you win a game like that with all of these contributions. How much does it help you down the road do you think. I don't know what helps us because I, I thought offensively you know without Nick and without those other two guys we were just I mean Kyle played a little bit but we didn't look very good offensively you know we're playing cash just a little bit too many more minutes but I think it talks a lot about our defense I think defensively boy we, we did a heck of a job and that's what I was going to point out coach the defensive side of the ball for you now it seems like your guys are really connected somebody dribble drive somebody's there is that all about taking pride and supporting each other on the court well I really thought you know McQuaid started it but but the other guy Xavier Tillman's really good and I was proud of Cassius because I was disappointed in my challenge them and boy that last five six seven minutes I thought he did a heck of a job in fairness to him we're just playing him to death so we got to figure something out there how would you best describe your point guard I mean he's just so smooth at everything he does he's special I mean he's a special kid you know he he is smooth that was a heck of a move at the end <laughs> took a lot of coaching to get him to do that move. but uh, you know what he's been playing better and better and Again, it's the whole thing is I got to get him some rest. So a lot of it falls on me. Well, coach, but I think the depth of this team, I showed tonight, Nick Ward not really a scoring threat, but Xavier Tillman played well. Aaron Henry, a career high. Guys like that really stepping up. How much does that help you moving forward with that depth? Well, you know, Jimmy, I thought the first half, Kenny Goins was a monster. He got his hands on a lot of stuff. He made a couple shots. He tipped a couple balls loose. But you're right. We have a lot of weapons that can do something, but our offense doesn't look as smooth right Right now, because we got to get a little bit more done. We got to have Nick inside. They did a good job on him. I thought a couple calls were close, but we need Nick in there for you sure. Uh, please, though, with, with, with you, coach, on the fast break, dominated that aspect of the game. Yeah, we, we, we can go. I mean, you, you know that. We can go. And if, and if we were going without. You know, Josh is that runner, so we're we're gonna get better here, I think. But if we can keep the defense going, the defense travels. We've won some road games. You gotta win games on the road. Hey coach, I'm gonna say this: it's a lot of butts in there, but you still got a chance to get that big W. So congratulations. <laughs> I love you, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks so much, Coach. We appreciate it. All right, we're gonna bring in Cassius so, Winston, so who's hanging out, waiting patiently as we say goodbye to Tom Izzo. Cassius, how are you, man? Good. How you doing? Congrats on the win Thank and. You. All right, so first we, we, you know, your coach just says heck of a coaching job on that move that he did it that you did at the end. <laughs> Take us through that. That was pretty smooth though, behind the back and then the reverse. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it was in transition. You know we had a break ahead. Just you know, take what they give me. He cut me off. Just put it on my back real quick. Saw the lane. I know Jimmy. Like he was smiling. Oh, no, that I one. like the move. And it, this game is all about challenges. Anthony Cowan coming in. You know, four plus games to twenty plus points. How did you take that not in regards to just going at him but as a challenge to one of the premier point guards in the uh, Big Ten Conference. Uh, like I said you know our program is big on taking that one on one challenge you know just that the, that competitiveness you know I knew he was having a great year and knew he's doing a lot of things well and at the end of the day I want to be the better guard on the floor and that's just my approach to the game. How about overall defense for this team look you've been great all year so it's no surprise what you did to them defensively but tell me about the collective mindset and what helps you in that department. Uh, we just we trust each other you know we got you know I couldn't do it by myself it's times he blew by me times my teammates covered my back plenty of times and that's just that's the faith we got in each other you know we close up on a three to, three point line because we know somebody's our gap so it make defense a lot easier. Well cash is speaking about trust Nick Ward not effective really because of foul trouble but Kenny Goins OK play with Xavier Tillman play well Aaron Henry play well the trust that you guys have in each other that somebody can step in is just amazing talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah you know any given night we feel like anybody can step up and that's just you know we share the ball we keep the ball movement and like I said we got trust in each and every one of these guys each and every guys are you know high division one basketball players and capable of playing on this level in high ways so if the guys open we're gonna give them the ball and we have every faith they're gonna hit the shot. All right give us la last thing but a great shot at the end give a little hug to your cook. best thing about playing for Tom Izzo is what Cassius? Just his his, his passion and his love for the game. You know, it rubs off on everyone, rubs off on the fans and the whole crowd. Hey, it's been wonderful to watch. Congrats to that on the win and keep it going, okay? Thank you. Appreciate that.